My name is Robin Kish. I'm an assistant professor in dance at Chapman University. I have a very unique background because I hold a Master's of Science in Exercise Science Kinesiology and also a Master's of Fine Arts in Dance. And so with those two things, I can bring the arts and the science together and kind of bridge the gap between the two. So in the dance department, I get to work with the dance majors for an entire year. It allows me to bring in the science components and make the dancers realize that they're not just dancers, but they're artistic athletes. The way I teach for Dance 360 or 361, we do lecture, but we also do experiential because dancers don't want to just sit in a classroom and learn straight up anatomy. They want to feel it, embody it, and then my goal is that they can take this information and teach it to the next generation so we can limit injuries and issues later on. So in my classroom, there's a lot of discussion that happens. We also go into the dance studio and I have them partner up and do movement, and then we analyze it and look for technique and efficiency issues to help prevent injuries and maximize performance. Pull on that tricep. Performing arts medicine is a relatively new focus. It's a combination of medical professionals as well as educators that are trying to enhance the performance of performing artists like dancers, musicians, actors. Within the first class, the Dance 360 class, they all have to come up with an original research topic of something that interests them. I have students interested in nutrition and what dancers do and do not know about nutrition, the types of shoes different tappers wear and their injury rates that they have. And then many of them will continue and make it a full-blown project that then they present at conferences. So in the seven years of being at Chapman, I've taken about 20 students to international conferences. I had two students do a project about sleep habits and college dancers, and that was presented in the UK. And when I take them to conferences, it shows them, whoa, I can have a second career. I can go out and have my amazing dance performance career, but then there's a whole other world I can go to. And I have a number of students that do all their prerequisites for physical therapy, for athletic training, for other levels in the medicine field. They're becoming really informed artists and I really enjoy seeing them be proud of their knowledge and what they can do.